Now look at this What's up, baby about penguins? Today we're going to do topic 6.7 on mutation. So this topic is a pretty loaded topic and we're going to jump around to a lot of different things. So hold on tight. So first thing, mutations are changes in the DNA. And so if we change the DNA, then of course we're going to change the mRNA that comes from the DNA, which changes the protein, which changes your phenotype. So whenever there is a change in the DNA, there could potentially be a change in the phenotype. The mutation can either be positive, negative, or neutral. It's positive if it provides a new allele that makes the individual more favorable. It's negative if it makes the individual less favorable. And it's neutral if it has no effect on the individual's favorability. There's three different point mutations we can have. We can have insertion, where we're going to insert one nucleotide. You can have deletion, where we're going to delete one nucleotide. Or we can have substitutions. The reading frame is the group of three-letter nucleotides that code for the codon. And if you remember, each codon corresponds to an amino acid in the ribosome for translation. If you have a frame shift mutation from an insertion or a deletion, you're now going to shift that reading frame. So you're going to see that every single amino acid downstream of this insertion or deletion is going to be different. Sound mutation it's going to refer to that the substitution of the nucleotide is going to make the exact same amino acid. It still codes for the same amino acid, so you don't notice a difference. So although there is a difference in the nucleotide sequence, there is no difference in the polypeptide sequence. Missense mutation means that we're going to substitute, of course, one nucleotide. And when we substitute that nucleotide, it now codes for a different amino acid. So we still have an amino acid, it's just the wrong one. In nonsense mutation, now we see that the substitution, instead of coding for an amino acid, now codes for a stop codon, which leads to potentially a premature stop and it causes the protein to be shorter. So depending on the mutation is whether we're going to see a positive, negative, or neutral effect. So for example, missense mutation. Um, sickle cell disease is due to a, a missense mutation in which we're going to exchange one nucleotide, which causes one amino acid to be different. So instead of you having your normal kind of circular shaped red blood cells when there's low oxygen, you're going to have crescent shaped red blood cells because the hemoglobin has this mutation in it. So of course, could potentially be negative because now these individuals can't hold as much oxygen. But also it could be positive because malaria can't affect the red blood cells. So, you know, environment. We can also have chromosomal mutations taking place. So deletion means that we're deleting an entire gene um, inversion. We're pulling out a gene, flipping it over and popping it back in. Duplication, we're making copies of that certain gene. Translocation, where we're going to exchange genetic material between non-sister chromatids that are completely different chromosomes. Clearly not going to finish. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs>